everybody, this is Vincent. Sorry this video took so long. Uh, I'm borrowing a friend of mine's laptop for using Windows 7 to stream media from Windows 7 to the Xbox 360. Now, let's get started. First thing you're going to have to do is you need to open up Windows Media Player. Now, this one's actually easier than using Windows Vista. Why? Because there's a streaming button right here. Yes, I know we're all used to going to library and then finding it, but it's not. What you have to do is you gotta go to streaming. Make sure you click on al automatically allow devices to play media. In other words, any computer can play this uh, computer's any computer Xbox 360, PS3 can play media off of it. Then go to more settings. You don't necessarily have to go here but if it asks for are you sure you want to do this because when you first pop on here it's going to ask you that alright now as you see we have two Xbox 360's and I've already allowed both of them with access you can also go to customize and then see which one you want to do uh, restricted ones uh, or just all media I recommend all media and there's an, one other thing on here you can remove them as well alright you can also block all of it and this is just under a local network right now okay after you make sure it's all allowed then all media from this computer that can be accessed from the media player will be used on your Xbox 360 one other thing I want you to note right now we have good signal as you can see from these bars right here if you have bad signal I recommend getting closer to your router and if your Xbox has bad signal unless it's directly connected, I also recommend it being closer to the router or directly connected for media streaming. If you don't have a very good network and it's pretty far away, then I highly recommend connecting it directly to the router as well as your laptop maybe if it's not working at first. This can re resolve a lot of issues you might have. Now we're going to go over to my Xbox 360, but before we do that, there's one other thing you want to consider. I know a lot of you probably already know this but you also have to make sure under name your media library you make sure you have the name of it now depending on the computer name you actually put it when you first got your computer will depend if you can find it or not as well but this one says Sean so we also gotta look for Sean there might be something else in front of it though alright now let's go to my Xbox 360 and see what we can find out hey everybody Vincent again with my little skateboard here now as you can see I'm signed into Xbox Live thanks to this part right here but I'm going to tell you something real quick you do not have to be signed into a profile in order to do media sh uh, streaming so you can just have your Xbox on connected to your network you don't necessarily have to be connected to Xbox Live at least with a profile But like I was saying, all you really have to do is go into network real quick. And as you see, Xbox Live is up and running. Now you have to make sure it says connected to Xbox Live, or when you're connecting it, make sure it at least goes to your network. Because if it doesn't connect to your network, you can't connect to other computers. Alright, as you all know, you've already seen Vincent's PC, Vincent, which would be when I showed it with Windows Vista, because that PC is a Windows Vista. Now, like I said, depending on the computer name you put it as. Now, for some reason, my friend, when he had his computer, he put it as Mike PC 2 Didn't really understand why he did that, but it does say Sean, which is what we were looking for. and as you see it says pictures and share pictures and there we go I can still apply them well let's see what we got here I guess him on a vacation or something I really don't know alright so still images worked now unfortunately for this PC all we have here is pictures and music not really a lot on videos
But we do have some songs we can automatically play. Which unfortunately, since I'm recording this, I can't do a double recording where it also has the music, you can hear the music. So let's get on out of here. And basically, as you can see, the streaming worked just fine. This is proving it and showing you how it works. Now, like I said before, if you are having problems connecting with it, try and connect your Xbox and your laptop either both together, which means you won't have Xbox Live unless you start sharing your network. Well, share it with your laptop, which is in another video. Or you can connect them both through a router directly. That way you still have Xbox Live and you don't have to use the shared internet with your laptop. Anyway, this is Vincent from Wolfland Productions. Thank you for watching this video. And I look forward to seeing you all in another one of my videos.